Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our geometry skill. Today is our day number 28. The problem is already on the blackboard. I'm going to read, read it to you. In a rectangle PQRS, let's draw a rectangle here, PQRS. P Q R S. We have a rectangle. In a, rect in, in a rectangle P Q R S, point T is the midpoint of Q R. There is a Q R. Point T is the midpoint. Point T is the midpoint of side Q R. The area of the quadrilateral P the area of the quadrilateral P Q T S. P Q T S. This area of the quadrilateral is two thirds. Here is the quadrilateral that we are talking about, starting from P, P, Q, T, S. And we are told that T is the midpoint. We are told that the area of the P, Q, T, S is two thirds. The question simply is. What's the area of the whole thing? What's the area of the rectangle PQRS? Pause the video right now. Solve the problem yourself. Once you have the answer, you can resume it. You know the routine. You must always solve it yourself. You will learn more out of it that way, as I have already explained to you many times. Which, of course, did not need explaining. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, pause the video and unpause it when you're ready. Alright, so what do we do? Well, here's what's going on. We know we know that T is the midpoint of the side QR. So if we did that, we'll break this into two parts and we can break this into two more parts. So we have four parts all together. One, two, three, and then four. I'm going to put this at a dotted line also. I meant to put it at a dotted line. One, two, three, four. We have four equal parts. This rectangle is made up of four equal parts. We are told that the area of the three of these parts equals two thirds. That's what this is. Area of P, P, Q, T, S, which is comprising of three parts, is equals two thirds. So if three parts equal two thirds, then one part must equal one third of two third. I have taken up too much room here. I, I, I was too generous in, in writing it. Area of the three parts equal two third. This is not part of the problem. This is our solution now. Problem ended there. Area of the three parts is two thirds, so three parts equals two thirds. Therefore, and for those of you who still don't know it, this means therefore two dots at the bottom and one dot in the middle. Is, it means it's a symbol for therefore. Therefore, one part must be if three of something is that much, then one of that must be a third of that. One part must be a third of two third. A third of two third is same as one third times two third giving us two ninth. That's the one part. And there and finally the whole thing that we're looking for is made up of four parts. One, two, three, four. Four parts. Finally four parts must equal four times two ninth. Voila. The answer is eight ninth. 8 9th right here I forgot to read uh, uh, I forgot to read the answer answer choices to you last time uh, the answer choices were 3 quarter 4 third I, I hope you could read them uh, 3 quarter four, it's a bit too late in the story I know 3 quarter 4 fifth 8 ninth 9 tenth and 1 the answer is 8 ninth that's it we're done that was the end of the problem I will see you tomorrow on day number 29 I have two more days to go 29 and 30th 
to take care of the concept of rectangles and squares. Starting from day 31, I have not made up my mind as to what I want to do. It's going to be either, either the concept of the slope, which I will do for the next 10 days, 31 through 40, or the concept of the triangles, area of the triangles. We'll do those for 10 days. So either way, we have 10 more days for the triangles, 10 days for the slope, and then finally, uh, towards the very end, I'll just mix everything up together and uh, give you a few problems, which is going to be, you know, we have done the basic concept that we want to cover, which is, we had the first 10 days when we did the introduction to the basic concept, then we did the next 10 days, 11 through 20, we talked about the areas and circumference of the circles, then 21 through 21 through 30, we are doing rectangles and the squares, it should be rectangles, not rectangle, rectangles and squares. Rectangles and the squares. The next 10 days, as I said, it's going to be either slope or the triangles, and then other 10 days and so forth. I will see you tomorrow, okay? If you wish to get hold of me, you can go to any of these website addresses that you see there and send me an email, or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and you can get hold of me from there. Alright? Thank you.